all right all right all right what's up guys today in this video i'm going to talk about games that comes out every single year games with yearly release for example you have assassin's creed game that comes out every single year same thing for uh mario games that comes out every single year uh same thing for call of duty games same thing for need for speed games those type of games i don't like them i don't like that politic to say you will have the sequel of this game every single year i really don't like that chances for me to buy a game like that are really 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 low i think it's probably like what one percent <laughs> I won't say I will never buy those type of games, but the chances for me to buy one will be really, 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 really low because I do not like them. So, in all the games I called out, I didn't uh, include sports games. Sports games are different because they are actually related to something that's real. For example, we have FIFA. FIFA is a game that comes out every single year. We can understand that developers create games like that, uh, you know, release a new game uh, every single year because it is related to something that's actually real and they have to make changes uh, because in you know every season there are new uh new players i would say well <laughs> in french there are new players and there is a possibility to uh for developers to implement some new stuff to the gameplay and all of that so we can understand that it comes out with a new game every single year and something to add is they had been doing that for a long time. I remember playing uh, uh, FIFA games on Super NES, if I remember correctly. At that time, it wasn't called FIFA. Uh, I, I really don't remember, but I, yeah, it was from EA. So they have been doing that for a long time. So sport games is not the same thing. Games like Assassin's Creed, um, Mario games, Need for Speed games, or even Call of Duty games. Games like that, I don't understand why people are still buying those games. Knowing that they have yearly, uh, you know, they are released every year. I don't understand how people can still buy those games. I really don't. I really don't. The thing is... Even if you are an alcohol fan of some of these games, at some point, you will get tired. You will get tired at some point. It's the same thing for almost everything. When you eat something every day, at some point, I don't care how much you like it, but at some point, you will get tired and you will want to try something different that's the same thing for these games this is the same thing on the other side i can understand why these developers do um, a new game every year that's the job that's what they are paying for and these companies you know they want money you know they want money i can perfectly understand that but here is something just imagine an Assassin's Creed game having the development time of three years instead of one. Imagine one Assassin's Creed game having uh, three Assassin's Creed game combined. So, you know, three Assassin's Creed games combined into one. Just imagine how that game would be. Just imagine how the map would be. How many missions you will have. You know, how the gameplay will be. How the graphics will be. Just imagine how that game will be if he actually had 
three years of development time instead of one. It would probably be freaking awesome. <laughs> freaking awesome. So yeah, that's the thing about this. I don't really I'm really not a fan of games with yearly release. I I'm really not. So yeah, that was uh, what I had to say about this. You know, we can do that much if you know. Uh, well, the only thing we can do is not buying those games for that to stop. But how many people would be uh, willing to do that? I don't know. So yeah, that was it for this video. Side note. Um, GT5 is coming out next week and I won't be doing uh, videos on the single player because obviously mo you know almost everybody is gonna have the game so it's gonna be pretty useless for me to do that it's gonna be uh, yeah so pretty awesome uh, one GTA 5 online is gonna come out I will be doing videos on that um, yeah I'll be doing videos on that so yeah that was it for this video let me know what you guys think about this and uh, as always god bless you guys and see you on my next video bye bye